Hi guys, and today is part three of the Brown Envelope Journal, and we're going to be covering it and sewing it all in to make an awesome gift for somebody or for yourself. If it's your first time to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. It's really going to help me get this channel up and running on YouTube. Please, it's so, so helpful. Thank you. What I've done is I've put down a piece of greaseproof paper, kitchen paper, parchment paper, whatever you want to call it, because when you're gluing and sticking, this will mean that anything where you've got a bit of extra glue won't stick to your covers and your papers. To make the journal cover, I have chosen two very old scrapbook papers. Sticking with the Victoriana type theme, this is going to be the external cover. This is going to be once you open the book inside. Even though this doesn't appear to fit our lovely Amazon packaging, we're not going to be covering the spine. So in fact, we only need to get two of these. All I've done here is lay this up so that I know on this side that there's going to be plenty of a room around this cover and then just cut away. This actually has a correct way up so we do want to make sure that we do that. So when we open it up we want this to butt up to where our spine folds and that's where we're going to be gluing to. The best glue to use is a PVA glue also known as a school glue nice cheap glue more to the point and actually is used in professional book binding. The main thing is to just be very very super generous and covering it well right up to that spine point there. Go right over the edge. We're going to put the paper down right up to that crease point sticking it down we don't get any creases in the cover. Make sure I've got that the right way up. Right, for this positioning, to make sure that we can get these corners very, very flush, we're actually going to cut a triangle off. First thing we're gonna do is take the corners. This is just to make sure that when we turn this, any gaps will be covered by paper. Now we're just going to very gently bring this to fold over. And then bringing this bit over and pushing down. going to fold this bit over. So that's the first side done and you basically repeat the process for the back. If you see spare glue just go in with a bit of tissue and pop that up. Now we've got the inside cut and as you can see there is a very very small edge that is the front cover the inside cover, inside cover, back cover done. Now is the perfect time because this needs to dry to go and wash out um, your glue brush, tidy up your desk a little bit, put that back down so your glue does not choke up and have a coffee. Right guys, we are back and this is dry enough. It's still a little bit damp but it's basically dry. And then we have the signatures here, a mixture of papers if you remember, which have been punched through. Uh, that was on the previous episode if you want to see that and this has been punched through. We are going to sew these signatures through and through this side and for that we have some wax thread and some blunt eye rather large needles. So to do the signature, we're going to want about three lengths and a titty bit for good measure. 
And as you can see, hopefully on camera, you can see this is really, really stiff, but waxed, which just makes it easier to pull through. Got one of these, which you can just undo when you've done it. It's just to make sure you don't pull the end of the thread through, because you do do a lot of tightening. If I just go through the first lot, not a big signature and the reason it's not big is because we're going to be decorating every single one of these pages probably with something different and fancy so this is like becoming our um sample of all the different sort of things you can do i pull everything up and through and now we're going to go through this outer cover at the center as well and now we go back through the middle hole avoiding the thread that's already there and then we do the same again through as many signatures as are lined up and pull it through and then we'd normally come down and through hook it under that thread and then come back up give it a bit of welly and then we're going to knot. As you can see, everything is now neatly held within the cover. And you just get your scissors and trim this off. That has been knotted, so it's quite secure. And there you go, you have made a book. How cool is that? And then what we're going to do in the next few episodes I suppose you'd call them is start decorating all of these pages adding tags adding journaling notes anything like that that we think would look nice um, do something here maybe and also obviously do the closure I think cover this this time just cover this stitching and spine do subscribe like follow comment do all the nice things to help me grow this channel and I will see you next time when we will start to add fancy, fancy things, fancy, exciting things to the journal.